Hey YouTube, it's Jonathan and I am back. I've been offline for about a month. I post a video at the beginning of September, but I haven't posted anything else all month for the month of September and I'm finally back and I'm ready to be here and I am so excited to be filming. Um, I sort of moved and went through a lot of life change, but I'm here, I'm ready, and I'm gonna be putting some makeup on my face for you. So when I'm sitting down to film this, it was yesterday that I post these pictures on Instagram. Um, very basic, but like really highlighted, just really pretty skin. Um, I was wearing this black sweater and I got tons and tons and tons of likes on it, so I'm just gonna be recreating that look for you. This is a look that I wear all the time. I was on a trip to New York with Lancome, and so all the makeup that I'm using today and that I was wearing in that photo is Lancome. Um, and so we're just gonna go ahead and get it on. I wasn't wearing a ton of foundation, but I did want a little bit just to give the skin a nice perfected look. So I used a little bit of Tantido Ultra mixed with a tiny dot of the Precious Cells Oil. I blend that all in the back of my hand and then I just apply with my fingertips just two areas of the face that are gonna need a little bit of coverage. And then I use a small stippling brush and just work that into the skin. So I haven't really been posting all month, but I've definitely been on. I've been watching, I've been reading the comments, and I'm trying to reply to a few of them. I'm going to get back to everybody eventually. Um, but with the move and all the work I've been doing recently, it's just been a little bit difficult, and I really kind of needed the time to myself to think. Um, I'm going to be doing a Q&A soon, so if you have any questions um, about anything, makeup, personal, whatever, feel free to leave those in the uh, comments box below or on any of my more recent Instagram posts or anything like that. I'm using this foundation in the shade 260 today, which is sort of my summer suntan color. I did put a little bit of self-tan on before going on this trip because I wanted to look extra fab. Um, but my normal shade is 140 or 215. I kind of switch between depending on how warm or neutral I want to be that day. And once I have a very nice even layer over the skin, I'm going to go in with Mackie Can Play, which is their hydrating concealer. This is the shade Light Buff. And I'm just going to dot that around my eyes, on the high points, anywhere that I want to highlight or conceal. And I'm going to use the same brush to blend that in. I'm going to get my face a little shape and structure with the Laduo. Today I'm using the shade Buff. I'm taking that sort of on the cheek here a little bit onto the jaw, and then of course around my hairline. Again, same brush. I am so brush lazy. I'll do everything with one brush if I can. This product blends so smooth into the skin, I just am obsessed. It just looks like it's part of the base rather than a layer of contour sitting on top. And I sort of use this as a bronzer. It's not really contoury. Um, the shade Ivoire, which is the shade I would use um, more to contour, is a little bit more of a gray undertone, whereas this one has a little bit more warmth to it. And then on the other side, there's a little bit of highlight. I am going to be using like eight highlighters today to make my skin look as glossy and glowing as possible, like you saw in the picture. And I just take this around the cheeks and kind of wrap that onto the eye. I take it in a straight line right between my brows and, of course, across my cupid's bow. And a little on the chin, why not? You guessed it. Same brush. And while we're still working with creams, I'm going to use a little bit of lipstick on my cheeks, actually, as a little blush. This is the La Absolute Rouge in the shade Beige Mirage. And I just kind of half smile, I don't know, make this face, and just put that right on the apple of my cheek, sort of low. And again, same brush or you can use your finger. And then over that, as sort of a blush topper, I'm going to use Click and Glow, which is their liquid highlighter, in the shade Rose Gold. I'm putting that directly over the same area. If you have darker skin, this is a beautiful highlight, but for me, because it's got that pink tone to it, I use it more or less as a blush topper. And it just gives my skin that like hot flush, like sunburn in a good way. And then with whatever's left on the brush, I just dot across the center of my nose and then tap in with my finger and then just kind of bring it around and on the chin just to kind of make the whole skin look like it belongs to each other, not like pink, white, brown, just make everything kind of blend a little bit better. 
Now I'm going to move into my powder products today. I'm using the Absolute Powder in the shade Pearl, and I'm just going to be very gently setting my entire face with this. I'm starting by setting under the eyes because that's where I want the majority of the product to go, and then sort of working it onto the rest of the face when there's much less product on the brush. However, this setting powder is very radiant, so it is going to set the makeup, but it's not going to dull the shine completely. It's going to leave a little bit behind. And of course, I am going to highlight on top of my highlighter because I like to stack my highlighters. To enhance the sculpting in bronze, I'm taking a limited edition uh, bronzer palette from Lancome. This one you can't buy anymore, but it's just a nice kind of almost matte, very neutral bronze. It's not too orangey, it's not too cool tone, it's just very simple. And I know there's quite a bit of layering going on, like I'd already used a product to bronze my skin before and now I'm doing it again with a powder. Um, and that's just because we were going on an outdoor walking tour of Brooklyn looking at some graffiti. We were also doing some graffiti ourselves and I wasn't sure kind of the weather and the inside temperature and I just wanted to make sure everything was going to be nice and secure and last really well, especially because it was an evening event and there were some really important people there and I just wanted to look really nice. And I'm not using a ton of each product, I'm just using a little bit and layering well to make sure that the makeup lasts throughout the evening. And then one of my longtime favorites from Lancome, the Blush in Miel Glacé. I'm also taking this blush color on a small brush and just blending that over my eyelids and into the socket line, both top and bottom. Like I said, I'm stacking highlighter on highlighter for this look, and I'm using a little bit of the new Dual Finish Highlighter in the shade Shimmering Buff. And back to that same brush, and I'm just going to buff a little bit of this just over top of where those previous highlighters were. And despite the name Shimmering Buff, this is not super glittery. It just gives the skin that like expensive glow that I already had on from 15 other products, but I just wanted to experiment and amp it up as much as possible. I'm going to leave my skin alone for a few minutes and go on to lashes, just giving them a nice curl first. And while that curl sets, I'm just going to quickly fill in my brows, of course, So Cell Defini in the shade Medium Ash. This has been my go-to brow pencil for the last two years. And then to complete my brow routine, as always, the Sorcial Styler Gel in the clear shade. I've been really back into making my brows look as textured as possible and like really going in with the gel to make sure that they're all plump. And kind of not a perfect sharp line out here in the end. Like that. Brows on, that gel will dry completely clear momentarily. It's going to be a little bit white while it's drying. But let's go back to my lashes really quick. I just use a very thin layer of Definisil's Waterproof Dark Brown Mascara. And that's more or less just to hold the curl and show that I've got lashes rather than to be like a big statement. For my lips, I just tapped a little bit of that Precious Oil just over top to really hydrate. And then I went in with that same Absolute Rouge lipstick that I put on my cheeks and just sort of pressed a little bit over top. And then took my brow pencil and used the tiniest amount of this just to define the edge ever so slightly. And then right before I went out, I added two drops of the Precious Oil to my fingertips, warmed it up, and just tapped it right over the cheeks just to add more glow that I really didn't need. And then put whatever's left in my hair. And that is pretty much my face. And that is this finished look. I hope you all enjoyed this video and I hope you're all glad that I'm back. I'm so glad to be back filming videos. It's been 
too long. Again, I am going to be doing a Q&A like next week or maybe the week after, so please leave your questions in the comments box below. Make sure you check out the description box because all the products that I use today are going to be linked down there for you to check out, as well as some extra information like what I'm using to film and all of that fun jazzy stuff. Um, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel on your way out. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I will see you all next time. Bye!